Uh, Xbox, Microsoft. They have something coming to the Xbox One um, called Xbox Game Pass. Um, and it seems to be that you are going to be able to, in a Netflix-style way, get a subscription that will allow, um, that'll give you a selection of games that you can download. I think that's important. Download, not stream, um, and play on your Xbox 99 a month. month. Um, and here is what they, uh, what they have officially said about it. One of the best things about Xbox Game Pass is that you can discover and download the full titles directly on your Xbox One. That means continuous play without having to worry about streaming, bandwidth, or connectivity issues. Uh, in addition, all Xbox One games in the catalog and related add-ons will be available to purchase at an exclusive discount for Xbox Game Pass members, so you can make the games you love part of your permanent library to play whenever you want. Every month, new games will cycle into the subscription and some cycling out, giving you a constantly updating library of games. And then uh, the article on Poly Polygon goes on to tell you that... Uh, any games that you buy through the service, you will buy at a 20% discount. Um, now, the uh, it, this may be moving to PC at a later time, but they are going to roll it out first for Xbox One. Um, and they did mention that um, Xbox 360 backwards compatible games will be included in the Game Pass, but those titles will not be available on the Xbox 360 console via your your subscription you can only play them on xbox one sounds like the service is not coming to 360 at all which makes sense makes sense it's a dead console yeah <laughs> um so what do you think of this um i think it has the potential to become a really really cool service uh just because there's a lot of games that that come out for uh, Xbox that like I don't really pay attention to, um, uh, mostly because like I I don't look at every game that comes out for Xbox One. I really just look at games that like I specifically want to play or games that are a part of like a series that are like I know exactly like, this is going to be really good. Yeah. Um. So, which I know that there's been a lot of like I haven't really like thought about this. There's been a lot of Xbox One games that have like come out. But I haven't like really paid attention to that just because like you really only see like the triple A titles or like any indie games that get like super popular, you hear about that. Right. And, you know, sometimes they're on there. But there's like a just a gigantic library out there right now. Um and I think that um if they decide to throw like I'm assuming they will throw like every game that's been made for the Xbox One on here, um, I think that's a really cool like service just to give people um because they uh i think yeah playstation uh uh playstation and xbox have been doing this thing where like every month they'll release like three games um that are just free just because they've been out for like a really long time and it's like you know, right like, we, we might as well just like it's a away. it's a bonus for you basically yeah uh for uh xbox live members but they're uh, usually pretty good yeah yeah i like, mean they're um, they're older but they're good yeah, like right now, uh, for Xbox, it's like uh, Project Car, I think, and mm -hmm. then um, uh, I forgot what the other one was. Oh, f no, not Force Unleashed. Um, I don't know, but uh, you know, they're usually like, like Borderlands Two was like an amazing game, um, and I would get it if I didn't already have the uh, the like Game of the Year edition with all the DLC on my Steam account. Right. Um. But, and also having uh, Xbox 360 backwards compatible games to be a part of the service too is really cool because, like, there's a lot of games to the Xbox 360 that, like, if I had the money, I'd be like, that was an amazing game. Uh, I definitely want it to on my Xbox One just for when I play it. Like, uh, Skate 3, um, Viva Pinata, like, where you, like, take care of a guard. That's a fun game. And don't let anyone else tell you different. And don't, don't be ashamed to like that game. This is a good game. It looks stupid. It was a, it was really fun. It looks stupid. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bunch of animals that look like pinatas. 
Um, but yeah, just like that. And um, I think did it say like a hundred games? Or did it give like a number? Um, they said that the alpha games over a hundred games. Yeah. So uh like is it like a yeah every month they'll have like 100 games to choose from and that's, that's a lot that's a lot you're not gonna get through those no no <laughs> which I, um, I think is like a even stronger uh part of the deal is just it, it's just like netflix like if you're ever like bored and you have nothing to watch and like normal tv right now is like there's nothing on because I don't know. And not just Xbox 360 games, because they also they 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 mentioned a few games offhand: uh, Halo Five, Guardian, NBA 2K16, and Soul Calibur 2, which was an original Xbox game. Yeah. So it looks like they're going they're going way back in the catalog. Um, now I think what they're probably so here here's my take on this. Number one, I think this is a and completely, in my opinion, blow out of the water the ridiculous uh thing that nintendo is doing with with the the online system like oh you get a free nintendo or super nintendo game for one month and then you can buy it if you want but it's basically a one month rental of one game now granted that's part of the online service that is only going to probably cost around 20 25 dollars for a year so it is much cheaper People are, are prepared to, to put down $10 to have access to over 100 games for a month. Plus, you can, if you really like the game and you want to keep playing it after the month is over, you can buy it for a 20% discount on the store. Like, yeah. That's really nice. So here here's what this looks like. If, if you're, if you, because I'm still an all physical kind of, if, if I can get the game on physical media, I will. Um, so, but if you are one of these people that, you know, you don't mind having full AAA games on, um, you know, taking up your hard drive, this is, this is the service to get. Um, it's going to give you that exclusive discount. Um, I think it's a great idea. I honestly think it's, it's a lot better than even, uh, than PlayStation now, just with like the fact that you have to stream it, you can't download it. And now that they've limited or they're, they're going to limit it, uh, sometime this year away from any devices with the exception of PlayStation 4 and PC, which is just ridiculous. Um, I feel like this is going to be not only a huge success, um, but it's going to, it's going to blow, it's, it's going to blow Nintendo and Sony out of the water with what they're currently offering. It's probably going to make at least Sony also do something similar. Oh yeah. Um, because I mean that's that is such a good deal, having over a hundred games at your disposal. I mean I could see people just getting an Xbox One and just getting this and not actually buying any other ga- any games any other way. Yeah, especially for um, like who do like a lot more like streaming on Twitch or do yeah. like a lot more like Let's Plays. Right. This is like a gold mine for game content just because like you wouldn't even have to like pay the full just play 90.99 a month never buy a game again for the rest of your life and just keep producing like visual content on youtube or twitch oh yeah um the and the other thing is like they said they'll 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 be cycling out content and cycling in content um i i think probably something like halo they're probably going to just keep on there i don't think they're going to cycle out unless they cycle in like older games in in the franchise um i think they're going to be some mainstays that they keep on there that's just 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 a thought um and the cycling out is more or less to just bring in new games but they also don't want to dedicate too much server space to let's just have the whole xbox library available for everyone yeah no then you you kind of do shoot yourself in the in the foot and if you do get like let's say you get a notification saying uh you know this game will be removed from xbox game pass would you like to purchase i think that's going to be an incentive just to you know buy at that point um but yeah this is a great idea um and i hope it is successful 